how to use midjourney video generator hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can create amazing videos with midjourney so let's get started to get started simply head on over to midjourney.com click on sign up on the bottom left and you can proceed with discord or google we're going to be proceeding with google for a quick and seamless sign up on midjourney Simply choose the Google account that you want to be using to create your Midjourney account. And if you already have a Discord account via Midjourney, you can use that as well. Now, Midjourney V7 and video is available to everyone, so you can click on Start Using V7 to proceed. This is what your dashboard on Midjourney is going to look like. You have a Discover section where you can see what other people are creating on Midjourney. Now, on the left, you have a Chat section where you have a Lobby, General Chaos, Newbies, Daily Themes, and more. Now we're going to go into create over here and you can see you have the ability to join. This is one of the world's most advanced image and video models with regular updates and more. So you can see over here, you can click on join now and you can proceed with a subscription. Keep in mind that if you are someone that is looking for Midjourney and you're looking to use Midjourney completely for free, then you can opt in to using it by Discord. So you guys can see their $10 a month plan has limited generations with 200 images a month. You have general commercial terms, optional credit top ups, three concurrent fast images and one concurrent fast video. Then you have their standard plan pro plan and mega plan their standard plan is $30 a month pro at 60 and mega at 120 now with the $30 plan you have 15 hours of fast generations with their pro plan you have 30 hours of fast generations however keep in mind that you have unlimited relaxed image generations on their standard plan which is why i do recommend their standard plan over the basic plan what does it mean when you have a standard a relaxed image generation versus a fast generation well a relaxed image generation basically allows you to wait in line for your image to be generated it can take slightly more time but it is a way for you to easily create images without having to worry about if you're running out of credits and this just makes it really easy for me to create as much content as I want. However, if you opt for yearly billing, you do get a discount, so you get a 20% discount. And if you already have a subscription, you can link your accounts over here. You can click on connect Discord to proceed with your Discord connection on Midjourney, or you can even directly log in via your Discord application. In Discord, you can see we have our Midjourney bot, click on authorize. Once you click on authorize over here, this will connect our Discord account. And once you have completed using or adding your Discord account or your other account, you can proceed with creations. Now we even have their image editor and from here, you guys can see some of the images that I have created. Now these are just examples of images that we have created on your top right. You have personalizations, draft mode, conversational mode, and then your folders. Now we're just going to join in over here. So now that we have selected our plan, we can proceed on mid-journey. Now over here on the left, we can choose our starting frame. We also have image prompts if we only want to create an image. We have style references we can add, and we also have omni references where we can use a person's likeness or form a object. Now we're going to get started and we're going to just get started with a general idea of what we want to create and you can go into settings and choose your settings. Now you have your standard mode and then you have your raw mode. Raw mode replaces the default aesthetic of some mid-journey model versions and using it can help you in creating more photorealistic images. And then the version is standard and then you have the draft version where you have a version 6, 7 and more. Then you have your speed. We have fast, relax, as, the, as well as turbo. Then you have your stylization, which means how strongly should the mid-journey aesthetic be applied. Now, keep in mind that if you turn on stylization to a very high extent, that means that your image is going to be very stylized in a typical mid-journey fashion. However, low stylization can make your image be more realistic. I'm going to keep high stylization because I do not prefer my uh, images to be a certain style. I do like the mid-journey aesthetic. Now, after that, I can proceed with imagination. So I want to a woman applying makeup. And that is a very general basic prompt. So we're just going to wait for it to create our content for us. And this, these are just some of the examples that it has created. So this, 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 and we have, you know, a total variety. Now I can proceed with the starting frame. 
and I can proceed with using one of these images. So I can take one of these images and I can use that for my video because I do want, you know, some type of starting point. But I'm just going to be downloading one of these images. I think I want to download this one. I can just click on the download icon, click on over here. And then from here, we can choose a starting frame. And we're going to choose a file or drag and drop it over here. So for this, we are going to be using this AI generated image. And then from here, we're going to proceed. So this is going to be our standard mode. And then from here, we're just going to select the image and we're going to start. This is our video start now. Now the woman puts down her makeup brush and walks away. And now I can go into my settings. I actually want high motion and it's going to be fast. And now I have just submitted my request. Right now it has taken my basic prompt from my AI generated image and it has now converted it into a video. So let's just wait for this to be completed. And a lot of people say, hey, can't I just, you know, use some text to generate a video directly? Well, if you are going to be putting in the text, you can directly generate the initial image or initial frame from your text so that's just going to be something you might want to do beforehand and that just makes it easier for you to create video content otherwise you would just have to you know choose your own likeness and use a random image or a blank image which is not going to work as well your first frame can always be a blank frame there's absolutely nothing stopping you from creating a you know blank frame now keep in mind on the left you even have personalization where you can add something unique about what you want to create and you can even edit the images or videos you're creating here and explore some of the other videos. Your video generation is going to be done in the meanwhile. So Mid Journey is going to keep on processing your request. And keep in mind, if you're going for slow processing uh, with your unlimited credits, obviously it's going to take more time. And we're just going to wait a couple of seconds for all of this to be completed so that we can proceed. So our videos have now been created. This is our first video. So the woman puts down her makeup brush and then she is just looking away this is our second video she is putting it down and she closes her eyes and she seems to get up from the table now this one is a bit too much i feel like this looks a bit too unrealistic and now we have this one this is very smooth till now and just like so oh this one is really nice honestly this is a very beautiful video that Midjourney has created it's super it's super nice and beautiful so just like so you can proceed with creating your own videos using Midjourney. it's truly this simple and easy so i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and make sure to comment down below if there's anything else you would like to know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video